Now I'm putting concealer on my eyes. This one's by MAC. Hi, Sammy. So, what are you guys up to today? And where are you from? And is it cold where you're at? Answer all of those questions. And keep me entertained. Ooh, Mexico, what part? I love Mexico. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm a Russian spy. Mother Russia. Um, in acting class, <coughs> I had to pretend I was a Russian spy and like attack this like four, 40 year old man. <coughs> and I basically like tackled him out of his chair. It was so funny. Because uh, I cannot do accents to save the life of me. I was just taking acting classes just to kind of feel it out. Um, I really love acting, but I didn't like think I could see myself doing it as a career. But yeah, so I'm not good at accents. Most actors are really good at accents. Peru, that's awesome. That's so cool. I've never been there. Also never been to Russia, hence the terrible accent. But I have in Iceland, and I don't, I can't do any of that I, accent. I've also been to London. Also really bad at that. Hi, Mikey. How are you? Do, 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 do. Slightly, do not look super great right now since I've been working out. After class tonight, I have to come back and pack up my entire room. Um, <clears throat> to move to Utah since it's in less than like it's in less than two weeks and I haven't I like I packed a tiny bit but not like a ton and um I have finals next week so I have a comm final I have a stats final geography and political science and then I was also taking a religion course this semester need to do my eyebrows now if any girls are watching use Anastasia brow if you want amazing eyebrows sorry you're not gonna see my face for a second yeah so I was taking a religion course this semester but um one eyebrow but it finished early so I took the final in like the middle of the semester when I was taking midterms for the rest of my classes. And then next semester I'm um, <clears throat> deferring at the University of Utah, so I won't be going until summer because I want to wait until I obtain residency status because it's like way more expensive to go to school um, and be out of state versus being a resident it's like ten thousand dollars more a semester so not gonna do that <coughs> all right my makeup's done see i barely actually i'm gonna put on powder do, 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 do. super easy Supernatural still. That's the way to go. I mean, you can do your makeup however you want, but I don't like getting all done up, so most of the time. Even in my photos, I usually don't have any makeup on. I'll put on like a little bit darker of eyeshadow. 
And then I just curl my hair with like a barrel twice a week and it holds the curl. Or it just like goes straight and it looks pretty when it's straight. So I don't really like fuss with it too, too much. I just got this curling iron for my birthday from my mamacita uh, because my other one broke after like a few years of using it. And this one's really nice because it only takes a couple minutes to do your like whole head. The curls probably won't turn out super well since my hair is like it's fresh out of the shower, but whatever. It's just calm class. And then, <clears throat> I don't know if any of you guys really know this, but I am working from home right now full time as a marketing specialist. The office is in um, Salt Lake. And so I'm, I've been working full time from home for the past three weeks. And I really like my job. It's for like a financial software company. And I just like get to edit their website and come up with marketing plans and learn about SEO and all that jazz. Hi, Pecky. Pope. Do you guys ever think that you see something out of the corner of your eye and get really scared? Because I definitely just did that. But it was just my curling iron because it's so massive. I'm going to be like that girl on YouTube that just burns her hair off because she's distracted. Bombay, what, what are you talking about? And then I'll probably keep this sweatshirt on and throw on jeans and then um, like little booties and another coat because it's a little chilly. It's San Diego. So Salt Lake was like 23 degrees the other night. So I'm literally going to die when I live there. Literally, do my best southern accent. Uh, I have to listen to someone do it before I do it. Oh, I don't use curlers without a clamp. Um, I'm not talented enough for that, so yeah, clamp it is. Oi! Oi! See, that side was really easy. It's not like too crazy, which is perfect. So I don't want to look it's like super done up. <coughs> Maslo Maslov? How do you say your name? Maslov? <laughs> That's how you say it in a really California accent. Maslov. Mess love. Wait, is it mass love or is it mass mess love or something like that? I sound crazy. I sound like a crazy lady. Parson, my dog, um, is currently like running outside and being a wild child. Every time I go out there to say hi to him, he like jumps up on me and then almost lands on a cactus because I'm staying with my family this semester and they have like a ton of cacti around the entire property and he just like runs into them. He's not the smartest dog. He's like actually pretty dumb, but he's cute. Hey dad, Roger Campbell's my dad, everybody. He's crazy. I was just in Oklahoma this weekend visiting him. Uh, if you like can find my personal Instagram, there's a video on there of me shooting 
Is it an AR-10? Done. It's like that bow. There's a video of me on there shooting like a bow thing. And I made it. I'm talented. I'm Katniss Everdeen. AR-10. Yay, got it right. I'm really horrible at shooting a pistol. I'm good at a rifle if it has a scope. But really bad at pistols. My dad was trying to teach me this weekend. Because I learned when I was younger, but... I'm not good anymore. Not very good. Okay. See? My hair is done. I know I just messed it up, but whatever. Do -do -do. I need to unplug my curling iron. I'm going to set this house on fire. Thank you. mascara ever best eyebrow pencil ever <clears throat> BB cream translucent powder concealer new palette it's pretty Smells like chocolate. Almost just burnt my hand off. What time is it? My laptop's in the other room. Hey, Madison? <coughs> I've had a cough for like a while now. Alrighty. It is time for me to go shoot. I'll talk to you guys for three more minutes and then I have to get dressed and then I have to leave to class. My comp professor that I have tonight is probably one of my favorite professors. He's really cool. He has like a PhD in um, rhetoric and yeah, I don't know. He's a good professor. It's a fun class. Thank you, Madison. Where are you from? Hey, ho, let's go. Boom. Fling, Kevin. So I get my associate's degree in about a week. I'm really happy that I'm finally just getting that part of my education done. No associates. So associates is the two year. <coughs> and then um, I'll have my bachelor's degree in three semesters. So by spring of 2019, I'll have my bachelor's degree, hopefully. I can choose to either do like a BS or a BA, and the difference is for a BA, you have to take four semesters of language, which I want to get everything done in three semesters. Otherwise, I would pick that and I would do French. Um, so that sucks. Uh, and then the BS, Bachelors of Science, would be in... Um, I could get that done in three semesters, but uh, I have to take three semesters of higher level math, and I'm really bad at math, like horrible. 
Like, I spend all of my time studying for statistics, and I suck. But I did get my first A on a test in statistics um, last week. Like, I've gotten A's on other tests, but I've never gotten an A in statistics class. And I did last week, so that's good. That's a good sign. Um, yeah, so I work in marketing, and... Um, <clears throat> I am getting my degree in communications. Um, I'm a communications major. Yes, math really sucks. I don't understand people that like it. But we need them for tutoring. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm trying to get my communications degree, and then I want to do a focus in interpersonal communications, and that is more of studying like relationships and so I'd be studying just like friendships, romantic relationships, um, family dynamic uh, and all that like relationships in the math place or I've just read your your comment and so I said math place relationships in the office and stuff like that it, it would be I mean I'm excited I'm really excited to take, like, my upper division classes in communications. Not math, though. Sorry, I paused it. I just turned 22. I know that I look like a child, but, yep, I'm 22. Uh, I went to Vegas for my birthday, and I got carded, like, all the time. Like, I had to obviously give them my ID every time I went to gamble, but then someone will walk by again like every time and ask me for <coughs> ask me for my ID and it would be like a supervisor would have to check it it was ridiculous thank you Daniel I try um I don't know it's just Instagram followers it's not like anything to be too like obsessed with a lot of time, like, friends <clears throat> or, like, people I meet will ask what my Instagram is because a lot of people just do that, like, as friendships. Like, they want to know what your Instagram is, and then they'll go on and they'll be like, oh, my gosh. It's not that crazy. It doesn't feel any crazier than having, like, 200 followers because I have a personal account, and that has, like, 160 followers. It doesn't feel any different except for, like, I have to post better content on this account. And, um, I get perks at, like, during traveling. So I'll get, like, discounts on cars or, like, free clothes and stuff like that, which is really nice and probably one of the main reasons why I'm still doing this, that, and because I really want more Instagram, like, influencers to be, like, more real with people. Um... And, like, just more real about what their life is actually like. Because I feel like there's a lot of Instagram influencers that just try to make their lives look super awesome. So then they can get more followers. And I feel like that's a cheap way of getting followers. And it also has been proven in studies to um, increase anxiety and depression in teens. Because all of these teenagers, like, and even adults think that, oh, like, their life is awesome. Why aren't I doing this type of thing like why aren't I traveling as much as them why aren't I <coughs> I'm, why aren't I as successful as them or as pretty and like it's important that people know that that's not like their entire life and that their lives are stressful and like they do get acne and they have to take exams and like maybe their prettiness isn't completely real like, I think it's important that we share that with each other so then people, like, it's, it's important to realize that you shouldn't compare yourself to others, but I feel like it's inevit inevitable. So, people need to be real with each other. And that's my goal, is to be more, like, real with you guys. Anyways, that rant is over. Um, yes, that's exactly why I said... <clears throat> yeah, I feel like that happens a lot when you live in L.A. too. Um, just because you're surrounded by a lot of people that are doing that. And you don't really realize that you're doing that. 
So I don't like really blame them, but it's important that we realize that it's time to be more real with other people instead of just like making our lives look like this fake awesomeness. I usually post like good content where it looks like I'm having a lot of fun and I am having a lot of fun, but I try to like include other aspects of my life. Hi, Ski. My day was good. How was yours? I was just working all day and then I worked out. And um, <clears throat> now I am going to school. <coughs> I got into modeling when I was 15 and my mom did modeling for Jazzercise and my grandma was a creative director for Jazzercise. Super random. Um, so I always like looked at my mom's photos and was like, that would be so much fun. And my dad started taking me to photo shoots with like local photographers when I was 15. And, um, I just did it for fun when I was a teenager and modeled for like lo local boutiques and then American Eagle Outfitters, um, saw my photos online and recruited me. And then I signed a two year contract with them. Um, and I traveled to like Alaska and Pittsburgh a couple of times and New York and places like that for American Eagle. And after my two year contract was up with them and I was old enough to drive to LA, I signed with an agency in Los Angeles and I'm still signed with them. It's called CESD and they do a lot of print work. So like work with Coca-Cola and Harley Davidson and things like that or companies like that. Um, and I am on the shorter side. I'm 5'5". Five, five. So it's important. It was important for me to sign with a talent agency and not a high fashion agency in order to get more work. But <clears throat> yeah. So now I just do modeling if I directly book stuff or if I'm modeling for like brands for my Instagram and working with friends. I don't really shoot with random photographers anymore. Um, I like to just shoot with friends. It's cool, like, getting to meet new new people and stuff, but I just don't have time to, like, net, network and, like, go out and meet a bunch of people and, like, I don't know. I'd rather just work with people that I know are going to get me the photos that I want than, like, use it as, like, a social aspect. It's more of just a, a job now. Um, I'm reading your comments. <clears throat> um, eventually I'd really like to start a nonprofit for, um, that I want to start a nonprofit that encourages young girls and young women to go out and backpack and hike and teaches them outdoor skills in order to increase their confidence. Um, I'm hoping to start on the blog the day after Christmas. Um, so I'll probably have the website like all set up the first week of January and I want to get that all launched this spring and like have a nice flow to it. And it's just going to be like an influential blog, um, talking about things that I've struggled with and then, like interviews with strong women and things that they've struggled with and just being like really real and sharing with a lot of young girls and sharing um like advice with like young girls on life and it can apply to any young person it doesn't have to be girls but it's going to be geared more towards that group um and then after college it'll turn into a hiking program and hopefully launch as like a scholarship program um to get more girls in college and and adventure things like that. Oh, Xavier. <laughs> hey, Ski. I've been wanting to work with you for a while. Um, but I am getting ready to move to Salt Lake. So if you ever come to Salt Lake, let me know. I have finals next week. And I'm shooting in Los Angeles this weekend. <coughs> All right, guys, I have to go um, Go comment on my photo. If you want more live streams, just say more live streams or something like that. Um, and I'll try to do them more often and, like, actually schedule them. So...
Thank you. 